we have somebody in Nigeria called Pastor Chris Wakilomo. He said they don't preach in healing service. When he's done doing it, he will now appreciate partners, appreciate all those who came from all around the world. Hello my family, welcome again to Direct TV, bringing you the truth. Welcome guys to this special episode of my video today. And right into this video guys, I'm here with a man of God by person of the highly esteemed Apostle Michael Oroku. And in today's video guys, um, the man of God, Apostle Michael Oroku, um, you know, during the UK invasion, or invasion, they actually talked about the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris Oyakulume, and this will actually amaze you. Remember the last healing streams with the man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris, all right, he actually did one of the most remarkable miracles that, you know, Pastor Chris was stirred in the spirit, was angry in the spirit, and he did a miracle that I cannot forget to today, and I even posted in my channel. So he's going to be talking about the healing streams of the man of God, Pastor Chris, and what Pastor Chris does. And before we dive into the video, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, like today's video, and if this is your first time on my channel, kindly this subscribe button subscribe to my channel guys and then watch this up right back the story was told about a woman called Ami Sempe McPherson she was working miracles in the city and they say it was a lie she now organized a service and said bring only those on which years we must prove it and journalists came doctors came they verified people clinically to be lame and they brought them in fact, the way she does publicity for her service is strange. She will go and stand in the city center. She wears white garment, like Captain Kuma came later and was doing the same. She will stand in the middle of the city. When people gather, she will now run into the auditorium where she's doing the meeting. And the whole people will run in. When they run in, she will turn and say, sit down. You can't go out. <laughs> the weight of the presence the lady commanded, she will just stand. In a way, and everybody is looking. Who is this pretty lady on the garment? And they will look. When she sees that the number is enough, she will start running. They will pursue her. She will enter a hall. As they enter, sit down. And then she will preach and combat people and go to another city. The news started spreading of the power of God that she was commanding. And they wanted to come up with ways of discrediting what she was doing. No most challenge. We will prove it. And she demonstrated it. That means it's not a fluke. It's something that can be replicated. So such, uh, that's the realm where you can say tomorrow is prophetic service. Prophetic service is not intercessory service. If you say it's prophetic service, you prophesy. high. You can say tomorrow is healing service. They will bring the sea. We have somebody in Nigeria called Pastor Chris Wakilomo. He said they don't preach in healing service. In healing service, you heal the sick. And they will arrange sick people. He will come out and go straight and begin to heal the sick. And he will finish. When he finishes, people travel from all around the world to come and spectate. Spectators, they will just come and watch. When he's done doing it, he will now appreciate partners, appreciate all those who came from all around the world. There's no energy. The guy knows it. From the place of rest, shows up out 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 be healed the other time he came and the people were many he wanted to lay hands documents will happen to him he just stepped back and looked at them he said all of you are healed no prayer <laughs> he was angry he was he was angry at the devil you are all healed and everybody stood up i'm not talking i have headache from which years people with cancer and if he's taking testimony, sometimes it's eight months later, so that you can verify before and after. That's Tokimazo. But they grew. I'm showing you this so that you will not be discouraged. See, some of you tried something and it looked as if it didn't work. Maybe you were at the level of idol. Keep pushing. There are more realms. There's a man called Aginasari in Ghana. I was watching his clip, I almost wept. That's the most casual ministration I've seen in my life. When he was done preaching, he said, everybody with crutches, bring it now. <laughs> People are not walking, you say, bring it. Bring, how will they bring it? And they gathered it, they collected it. They were all healed, completely, completely, with ease. It's called Dokimazu. And that's a realm for everyone. You have the Holy Ghost because he wants to guide you into Dokimazo. So when you get there, no territory will be hard. 
and you don't have to wait until you get there because these are experiential knowledge. So where you are, you keep dreaming. I've gone to places before, I prayed for the sick, nobody was healed. I said, okay, maybe I'm still at doctrinal level. I went and prayed more and came back. And then every time you press, God will honor you by increasing your measure. Because this thing is not just about getting the work done, it's about making you become. He said, follow me, I will make you fishers of men. So you are made in the process of service. We cannot do it. We will all do it and we will not be discouraged. If I pray for somebody who is demonized today and the person, the demon is not cast out, I will not for one second think it's impossible. I will know there's something I don't know. I'll go back and check and come back. If I pray today for the sick and they are not healed, I will not be ashamed. I will know there's something I don't know. I will come back. That means there are realms of knowledge I need to access. And so for me, one of my motivation in doing what I'm doing is that I am becoming more. I am growing more. I am transforming more. So even when I'm not getting certain results yet, I know there is a ladder I need to climb. So the reason I keep pressing it's not just because of the assignment. It's because of who I'm becoming in God. Knowledge. All right, my family. There you have it with the man of God by person of Apostle Michael Oropo. See, many might not understand why I like this man of God. He knows how to mind his business. That's one thing I like about him. All right. Apostle Michael Robo knows how to mind his business, just like the man who got Reverend Dr. Chris Oyaklume. Now, concerning the several testimonies he has given, you see, he likes talking about Pastor Chris. He likes talking, and I, I, if I, that's the one of the reason why I just love him, because everything he says about Pastor Chris is always so amazing. All right, did you hear the part when he was saying that Pastor Chris just be saying, telling them how to out? <laughs> Man, the miracle was amazing. It was really, really amazing, guys. And just to tell you that, um. Uh, this um you know match this coming match the healing streams will be holding again all right so if you have somebody that you know that the person has illness in his or her body all right this is an opportunity for the person so this miracle this testimony that you hear the man of god pastor michael Ropo said was not a joke all right it is serious for those who don't want to believe it don't worry it is still when they have sickness that will get them to that place that's when they will know that the miracles are actually real but don't allow yourself get to that level before before you believe in miracle all right so um i'd like to specially invite you for the healing streams with the man of god reverend dr chris oyakilome are coming up on march all right so prepare for it thank you so much guys for watching today's video and i look forward to seeing my next video and if this is your first time on my channel kindly the subscribe button subscribe to this channel and if you have not liked the video up to this point hit the like button like today's video guys and i'll see you in my next video bye